Hyper C, Breaking the Net, by Steve Goodman, from CCRU's Abstract Culture, Digital Hyperstition. This text retrieved from CCRU.net. 33.33 RPM, 2,112 BPM, 1056, 528, 264, 132, 66, 33, 16.5, 8.25, 4.125, 2.0625, 45 RPM, 2,880 BPM, 1,440, 720, 360, 180, 90, 45, 22.5, 2.5 One, the above is an excerpt from Sector 7.1 of the Hyper-C Tone Scientist Manual entitled Hydrodemonic Polyrhythm, Operating System for the Redesign of Sonic Reality on Code 9 Sonic Insurgency, Polyrhythmic Scaling, Octave Stretching, Breakbeat Nesting, as short circuits of turbulence. Elsewhere in the text, Afro-Atlantean rhythmic futurism's involutionary trajectory from the full beat of 4-4 four, four funeral marches through the half beat of 2-4 towards the quarter note of swing, on past a bebop one-eighth note into a convergence with a T-1000 liquid metal hyperrhythm entity, which, arriving from the future, surfaced recently in the early to mid-1990s. This vast vortical assemblage diagrammed by such period doubling suggests the effective potential of the Black Atlantic consists of the multiscalar rhythmic composition of turbulence, the art of war, in the art of noise. Like the cyber goths, hyper seem addicted to the flatline bliss of micropause abuse, different agent, same line. In a later section of Hydrodemonic Polyrhythm, we learn further that this redesign of sonic reality generates genetic destratification for subaquatic martial arts. For insurgency on the distributed pod network, which the AOE was installing, constituting a carcero archipelago, entitled CNET Inc., under the Black Atlantic, each pod was allegedly modeled on C-20's design wizard, Buckminster Fuller's Undersea Island, and house the gleaming sonar tracking machines, tracing out the sonic environment on digital cartographies of fractal complexity. 2. Riding the surge current of the Syzygy Hydra cycle opens hyper C break asymmetrics to smooth transitions across a rhythmic frequency continuum, camouflaging their sonic output with the BPM metric hyper C cluster the productions around the agonomic speed of 180 BPM, code 9 plateau of continuous variation, and 132 BPM, micro-break demonic two-step. 3. For the distributed aqua assassins of the hyper C tide, Y2K constituted nothing less than a scratch on the vinyl of history. With the sea level rising all the time, the elusive cult phenomena were characterized by what Codwell Eschen has referred to as liquidarity, a kind of hydrotronic Tao of turbulence, gelling distributed agents into a collective viscoelastic polyrhythm. 4. Hyper C equals, as MC Blowfish of Digital Underground proclaims, with thanks to Parliament's psycho aqua doo composed of turtiblis tone scientists and connoisseurs of the occult numeric practices of break asymmetrics. 5. For the Dogons of West Africa, the eight ancestors are called Nomo. The scapegoated ancestor, the fish Nomo, Onagono, was sacrificed to counteract the disorder of the universe, of which continual land reclamation operations constitute only a terrestrial instance. Could language really be the Earth screaming? The bifurcation of Poe, 
the cosmic egg triggers the onset of turbulence, a cosmic whirlwind. Unlike astrophysicist Stephen Hawking, who disregards significant matter prior to the Big Bang, the Dogons posit the abyssal waters. 6. Several hyper-C designers had watched with fascination as the infinite regress of negations constituted by the weight of Hegelian dialectic was passed downstream by the theoretical terrorists, the young black Hegelians. The quantum blacks were on a collision course from the start, according to Greg Tate. The young black Hegelians, despite their energetic conceptual insurgency, were weighed down by the burden of contradiction and conflict with which their heritage had burdened them. The quantum blacks, therefore, were forced into locating themselves by bearing the sign of negation to a reducto ad absurdum, a theoretical black hole, not a collapse in the fabric of space-time, dimension, or gravity, but to a fold in the curtain of race memory. 7. Noise Zion 8. Always, hyper see it sneered from afar at an overexposed spectacular martial mode of historical monumentalism, instead installing an amphibious geographical nonumentalism and deploying the anti-memory deep time of the spinal fluid ocean. 9. Set your clocks to maritime K+. Insurgent Phase 1. Style wars to race wars. Insurgent Phase 7. From subversion to submersion. 1. Contrast the martial trajectory of the quantum blacks with the escape velocity of the Dr. Drexel-inspired Drexians, and you can understand the dismay of deep cover hyper C with escalations to violence of the quantum black war against the state, white body politic, which Greg Tate reports. 2. K2, code for C, catasonics, rewind. 3. Preferring an older operating system, hyper C deploy an old school wetware martial art termed Synohydrosynthetics. Insert the Sun Tzu chip, code 9, testifying to the hypercultural matrix which smears out the white face of the Occident. 4. By pure coincidence, Dr. Camelot Drexel's research, Tate tells us, quote, was based on the theory that black people's consciousness and social condition could be transformed through genetic mutation rather than religious or ideological conversion. He wanted to transform a select group of black folks into amphibious creatures who would assist him in leading an exodus of black people to the Sirius B system. End quote. 5. In 1998, Mobile Aqua Age in Drexia has been noted, currently missing in action although recent signals suggest sightings in the east side sewer system, Seven Mile, and Van Dyke area, east side Detroit sector. Drexia, a wave jumper from the Special Forces, operates on aquatic assault and beachhead preparations through the underwater deployment of electronic funk bombs. 6. Weapon of Choice, H2O. 7. Rewind the Century. 8. No Playback. 9. Set Your Clocks to Maritime.